Is knee replacement surgery the only option to treat your knee arthritis? Knee arthritis rates are skyrocketing, as well as the number of knee replacement surgeries. About 600,000 surgeries are performed in the U.S. each year. These surgeries are so common that it seems like everyone who experiences knee arthritis these days anticipates needing a knee replacement at some point in their lives. But how much do we know about these surgeries? What does the procedure entail? What are the possible side effects? And how effective is knee replacement in treating the symptoms of osteoarthritis? First, let's look at what knee replacement surgery entails. The surgery requires the patient to be fully unconscious. The surgeon will open the knee up from the front and amputate the bone above and below the joint. A metal prosthesis is inserted into both the thigh and lower leg bones, with a plastic surface between the two to promote smooth articulation. The surgery typically takes several hours, with the recipient returning to most daily activities in anywhere from a few months to a year. While many patients envision knee replacement like replacing a bad part on their car, the reality of side effects and outcomes is quite different. Some of the more severe side effects of knee replacement are a 200 to 300 percent increase in the risk for bleeding stomach ulcers, a 3100 percent increase in heart attack risk for the two weeks after knee replacement surgery, and in 2008 the National Hospital Sampling System indicated that there were 5,000 deaths due to knee replacement in Medicare beneficiaries. There have also been several recent studies showing how knee replacement prostheses shed metal and other wear particles into the surrounding tissue and bloodstream. The long-term effects of these particles are unknown at this point. So now let's look at how effective knee replacement surgeries are. With the procedure being so widely used, you would think that success rates are extremely high. So you might be surprised to learn that the medical community doesn't actually have high levels of scientific evidence that knee replacements are all that effective. In fact, an Oxford University scientist recently commented, long-term data on total knee replacement is largely limited to revision leaving clinicians and patients in the dark about outcomes such as residual pain and disability. One of the primary symptoms that a knee replacement surgery attempts to alleviate is the patient's level of pain caused by the osteoarthritis. However, a recent study asked surgery patients detailed questions about their levels of pain after knee replacement surgery and found the following. Most patients had levels of pain between 2 out of 10 and 5 out of 10 after their knee was replaced. So while most people considering knee replacement believe that surgery will eliminate their pain, this research indicates that many patients continue to experience significant pain following the surgery. Another recent study indicated that only about half of the patients reported significant improvement after a knee replacement. And for heavier patients receiving knee replacements, a successful recovery is even less likely. Finally, a recent study showed that patients with the most severe arthritis reported the worst outcomes when their knee was replaced. This is a big problem, as most patients seeking knee replacement have severe arthritis. Now consider the non-surgical alternative. The Regenix SD procedure is a proprietary same-day procedure that uses your own stem cells to help osteoarthritis. Stem cells are the repairmen of the body. They act to stimulate the natural healing properties of our own bodies rather than adding foreign objects to replace worn out joints. Nobody on earth has treated more arthritis patients with stem cells and tracked their outcomes for longer periods of time than Regenex. Throughout the years, we have gained a unique knowledge into what works and what doesn't, optimizing our procedures along the way to produce the best possible patient outcomes. For example, in tracking over 500 knee arthritis patients who received the Regenex SD procedure, here's what the average percentage improvements look like over time. This registry data means that when all patient results were averaged at each time point following the procedure, patients reported between 50 and 70 percent improvement in their symptoms. And between three months and three years after receiving the Regenix SD procedure, about 7 in 10 patients reported noticeable improvement in their symptoms and pain. And unlike the knee replacement study, our registry data indicated that the patient's severity of arthritis, age, sex, or weight had little impact on the treatment outcome. While most patients opt for a single procedure, that same analysis showed that if a patient had a partial response to the first Regenix SD procedure, a second procedure usually provided significant additional relief. And for those concerned about the side effects and risks involved with knee replacement surgery, there have been no similar serious complications associated with the Regenix procedure based on our extensive treatment registry. Lastly, Regenix patients experience very little downtime and disruption to their everyday lives from the procedure and they avoid the lengthy and painful rehabilitation period that follows an invasive knee replacement surgery.